Hello there everybody and welcome to Tuesday Teaching Tips with me, Sally Kafka. Now listen really carefully, you hear in the background, it's the theme tune from Doctor Who. So let me just switch that off for a moment. And you might be thinking, well why is Sally sharing Doctor Who with us today? Well, um, on Saturday I had a concert with my orchestra that I play with, the New Symphony Orchestra, and we all dressed up in space themed gear because we were doing a concert from outer space and a lot of fun it was and the violas of course were fabulous because we all wore white boiler suits and these helmets. Um, a couple of my piano pupils came to the concert which was lovely and there was a fancy dress competition and the winner of the fancy dress competition got to conduct Doctor Who and one of my pupils <laughs> won the competition and he got to conduct Doctor Who. And he's only been learning 18 months or so and to be honest, conducting wasn't one of the things that we had yet tackled, um, although I do usually later on down the line. Um, so it's a very quick crash course in how to conduct. So we spent the extra five minutes of the break going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And it was, it was great for him because it was really showing him how important it is to count all the time as you're playing music you know it, it's just essential that they get this idea and um and we we spent a long time during uh, what, about five minutes practicing and i was saying remember that whatever you do go down on one wow. and of course doctor who is lovely because it's diddly dee diddly dee diddly dee diddly dee diddly dee diddly dee so there's lots and lots of ones going on there and it was great because he had a sonic screwdriver to connect with now um this this was really fun and he he got a lot from it and he came for his lesson yesterday he was telling me all about it but it also links up very nicely with a question that i was asked or a request that somebody asked me just a couple of weeks ago could you show us how to conduct some so here we go how to conduct it is a really important skill for you to know as a teacher and also for you to pass on to your students okay not many exam boards these days ask about conducting ask you to conduct but that doesn't mean to say that it isn't something you should do because i really believe it is um so conducting basically is well you know down is one that's always the same but conducting um has to have a flow and it has to have an energy and it is a skill that you do have to learn so the important thing to remember when you're conducting is that you need click points for each part, each bit of the beat, because a beat isn't just that, it is actually that, you know, a beat exists in time, here's the start of the beat, here's the end of the beat, and then here's the beginning of the next beat, okay, so beginning of the beat, the length of the beat, the end of it, and the start of the next beat, and when we conduct, we have to indicate all those things, and that's why it's important. So imagine you've got, just put one hand in front of you, you might want to do this with me. And whichever hand you want to conduct with, it's fine. You can use your right hand or you can use your left hand. I'm going to use my right hand, I'm going to turn sideways though, so you can follow me like this. So this is my clip point and it's kind of midway between myself um, around chest height. And I'm going to do my one, we'll clip down there. One, two, one, two, one. One, two, now I'm holding a bit high at the moment. My shoulders feel a bit um, bent because of that, because I'm showing you. But um, you can see my two revisits the one, down, up, down, up. And the one is like a little umbrella, that's what I always think. One, two, one, two, one, two, okay? That's one and two, that's the first thing to, to establish is that click point, and then when you take my hand away, can you still keep your clip point? One, two, one, two. So there is that little clip there. Otherwise, you're going, up, going all the way down here. And then, as an orchestral player, I don't know where to put my beat. Yeah? If you're doing three in the bar, you're going to go here. I clip again, so on one, down to the right and up, down to the right and up, down to the right and up, down to the right and up. And you know, just I go down, I go to the right, and there's another click. And then my up, my three beat, the beat, comes back on itself. And up, down to the right, and up, down to the right. And, and again, it's a really light third beat. At this point, I'm not having an enormous click, but it is there. One, two, 
three. There it is up there. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And it's really good for getting pupils, students, young, old, adults, whatever, doing their metrical counting repeatedly. So that's your three in a bar. And your four in a bar, I'm going to keep my tip point there. You're going to be down to the left to the right and up. Down to your left to the right and up. Down to the left to the right and up like that. So again, you're going to go down, now to the left click, right click, up. Down, left, right, up. Down, left, right and up. And if you have students who struggle, as I do sometimes, with your right and your left, then um, do it to the walls or something like that, yeah? So you might do down to the blouse, to the door and up. Down to the blouse, to the door and up. Another thing you can do is, is to draw it, just to represent it. So two in a bar is down like that, yeah? And up, down and up. And three in a bar is down to the left and up. So there we go, down. To, sorry, to the right, and then back up again, and then four in the bar is down to the right, to the left, and up. Ooh, yeah, that looks very good. Down to the left, to the right, and up. So it's all a fluid movement if you're in four in a bar, if you're in three in a bar, if you're in two bar. So we want to avoid music doesn't work like that. Yeah, music has flow. Think about the word rhythm comes from which means to flow, has to have flow and it has to have energy, okay? So that is a little bit on how to conduct. We're going to, I'm, I'm going to leave you today with a bit of conducting. I'm going to conduct the can can together, which is in two. So you're going to be going down and up, down and up, down and up. And it's really lovely with your pupils to put on recordings and to practice conducting together because it has enormous benefits far, far beyond this physical act of doing this. It really helps to embed and ingrain that sense of pulse and that understanding of the metrical function and the understanding of the flow, which is why it's so important. Thank you.